Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by three different ways. First of all quadratic formula then by factoring and finally by completing the square method. And one more thing keep in your mind that this quadratic equation has its leading coefficient other than one. So let's go ahead and get started with solving this quadratic equation first by using a quadratic formula. So here's the quadratic formula that we will be using and here are our coefficient a, b and c values where a is 3, b is negative 16 and c is negative 12. Let's go ahead and start plugging in and solving for x. So x is going to be negative b, so negative and b is negative 16 plus or minus b squared is simply negative 16 squared minus 4 times a is 3, c is negative 12. Everything is divisible by 2 times 3. So the next thing what we're going to do is negative and negative become positive 16 plus or minus 256. Negative 16 square is 256 and that simply become positive 144 divided by 6. And the next step is 16 plus or minus when you add 256 and 144 that's going to give you 400 divided by 6 so the next step a is going to be 16 plus or minus square root of 400 is 20 divided by 6 now we're going to go ahead and split this thing up along these two signs positive and negative so first is going to be a 16 plus 20 divided by 6 the other is going to be 16 minus 20 divided by 6 so far so good so let's go ahead and start simplifying so on the top that's going to be 36 over 6 is going to be x equal to 6 is one of our solution and on this side that's going to become negative 4 over 6 means x equal to this reduces to negative two third so thus these are our two solutions hence our solution set turns out to be a negative two third and six in this step we will be solving by using factoring method so in order to solve this quadratic equations, we have to be a little bit careful. Let me show you an easy way to find the factors for this one. Let me ask, let me just put it down, this thing right up here somewhere. 3x squared minus 16x minus 12. Now what I want you to do is I want you to put down two parentheses, okay? So far so good. And I want you to put down only this part, 3x. Don't worry about the exponent so I'm going to put down 3x right up here and 3x right up here. The next thing what I want you to do is I want you to multiply 3 times 12 the end numbers. Don't worry about this negative uh, sign. So 3 times 12 is going to be 36. Now we're going to find the factor of 36 that could give us 16 with a negative sign. So the possible factor is going to be a 2 and 18, isn't it? When you multiply, it's going to give you 36. And if you subtract them, it's going to give you 16. Since we are looking for negative 16, so that means 16 gonna 18 gonna have a pos negative sign and positive 2. So these are the possible factors so let's go ahead and plug it in so i'm going to put down plus 2 right up here and negative 18 right up here these are the numbers we just put it down positive 2 right up here negative 18 over here we are not finished yet look at these one over here 3 and 2 there's nothing in common so just leave them alone look at this 3 and 18 what is the greatest common factor 
for these 3 and 18. That means what is the biggest number that divides into both of them? So of course 3 is going to be the one that divides into both of them. So once you divide this thing that is going to turn out to be 3 over 3 becomes 1x minus 6 and since there is nothing in common over here just leave them alone 3x plus 2. So these are our complete factors for this quadratic equation. Let's go ahead and plug these one over here. So I'm going to put down 3x plus 2 times x minus 6. Those one came over here and set them equal to 0. Now we're going to split them up. So I want you to put down 3x plus 2 equal to 0 and then x minus 6 equal to 0. I want you to move this 2 on the other side becomes negative 2 and then divide both sides by 3. So x turns out to be a negative 2 third is one of the solution and here we have x equal to 6 is another solution. So thus our solution set is negative 2 third and 6. And finally we've, uh, we are going to solve this quadratic equation by this technique called completing the squares. So the very first thing I want you to just follow these steps. The very first thing I want to make sure only x variables must be on the left hand side. So I want you to move this one over here on the other side. So this simply becomes 3x squared minus 16x and when you move this negative 12 on the other side become positive 12. The next step I want to make sure just keep in your mind that your leading coefficient must be 1. How are you going to make it 1? By just simply dividing by 3. Once you divide by 3, you must divide across the board. So what is going to happen is you got x squared, 1x squared, minus 16 over 3x equals to 4. Now the next step is this one. I want you to look at the coefficient of x, 16 over 3. Don't worry about this negative sign. Just look at this 16 over 3. Whatever this thing, I want you to divide it by 2 always. By dividing by 2 is same as just putting 2 over 1, isn't it? Doesn't make any difference. So this simply is going to become 16 over 3. Now look at this thing. I want to convert this division into multiplication. Then this 2 over 1, they, you can flip them over. Take the reciprocal. That becomes 1 over 2, isn't it? Now the next thing I want you to multiply. So see right now 2 and 16, they reduce to what? 8 over 3. So far so good. They reduce to this thing. And the final step is I want you to take whatever this amount is, power 2. So this is what we are interested in. So I want you to go ahead and add this whatever this amount on the both sides of this equation. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put down x squared minus 16 over 3x plus and I'm going to put down 4 plus and I'm going to add this 8 over 3 square on this side and likewise I'm going to put down 8 over 3 square on this side. If you focus on the left hand side on this part this represents a complete square and that is going to be x minus 8 over 3 square. Now you might be wondering how did I get it? This x is going to show up right up here. This 8 over 3 is right up here and this whatever this sign this gonna be right up here. And on the right hand side is simply 4 plus 
this become 64 over 9. Now we're going to go ahead and add these numbers. Let me just put it down over here. I'm going to put down 4 plus 64 over 9. You see 4 is a whole number and 64 over 9 is a fraction. When you add whole number and fraction, you can merge them as a mixed number. You can put down 4 and 64 over 9. Now you can put them in a fraction. 9 times 4 is 36 plus 64 is 100 divided by 9. So that means this whatever we got this fractions whole number and fraction that turns out to be a 100 over 9 equal to x minus 8 over 3 square and final step is simply get rid of this square on both on the left hand side so you can see that this square root and square there cancel each other out we got x minus 8 over 3 equal to plus or minus square root of 100 is 10 and square root of 9 is 3. And next step, I want you to move this 8 over 3 on the right hand side. So x turns out to be equal to this becomes positive 8 over 3 on this side plus or minus 10 over 3. We are almost finished. I want you to split it up along these two signs. So that's going to give us x. This become 8 over 3 plus 10 over 3. And the other side is going to be 8 over 3 minus 10 over 3. So far so good. Here 3 is our common denominator. 8 plus 10 is going to be 18 divided by 3. That means x equal to 6 is our one of the solutions. Let's look at this thing. Once again 3 is our common denominator. 8 minus 10 becomes negative 2 over 3. So x equal to negative two-third is another solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.